Welcome to Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast. This is your Badger Healing Evangelist, Felicia Claiborne. You can like our Facebook pages entitled Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast and Healing Needs International Ministry. You can also join our group on Facebook under the same names. This is brought to you by the partners, prayer warriors, and supporters of Healing Needs International Ministry. We will talk about Joseph. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you right now. Give you praise, honor, and glory because you have blessed us to come together and to delve into your word. Open up our ears to hear and our spirit to receive the word of God. We ask you to release salvation, healing, deliverance, signs, wonders, and miracles. We pray for those, O oh God, who are sick, that you will heal them right now. And those who are bound, you will deliver them and set them free. We ask this through Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Joseph, this is one of my favorite um on my favorite list for um, Bible characters is Joseph. Joseph was the eleventh son of Jacob. His first son through his favorite wife, Rachel. After the announcement of his birth, we see Joseph next as a 17-year-old boy returning from shepherding the flock with his half-brothers to give Jacob a bad report of them. We are also told that Jacob loved Joseph more than any of his other sons because he had been born to him in his old age and made him an ordinary robe for him, he coat of many colors, okay? Joseph's brothers knew his father. Their fathers loved Joseph more than them, who caused them to hate him, to have matters worse. Joseph began relate, relating his dreams to the family, prophetic visions and dreams, showing Joseph one day ruling over his family. The bitterness towards Joseph peaked when his brothers plotted to kill him in the wilderness. Reuben, the eldest, which is the first, his his older half brother, his old yeah his older half brother, objected the outright murder and suggested they would throw Joseph into a pit. As, he, as they planned to come back and rescue the boy. But in Reuben's absence, some merchants passed by and Judah suggested selling Joseph into slavery. Now, Judah represents praise. How you going, how's praise going to go sell the dreamer? That's something. That's another sermon. The brothers accomplished the task before Reuben could rescue him because Reuben cried so hard because he told Joseph I'm coming back to get you. The boys took Joseph's robe and after dipping the robe in goat's blood deceived his father into thinking his favorite son has been slain by a wild beast. And so that's why he put on sackcloth and ashes and didn't eat. Joseph was sold by the merchants to a high-ranking Egyptian named Potiphar and eventually became the supervisor of Potiphar's household. So he was like the top dog um, like over the the servants and stuff, you know, the butlers and the maids and stuff. He became one of Potiphar's most trusted servants and was charged and put him in charge of his household. Potiphar could see that whatever Joseph did, God looked favorably on him and prospered in all that he did. Unfortunately, Potiphar's, Potiphar's wife attempted to, to, to seduce Joseph. Joseph constantly refused her advances, showing honor to the master who was who had entrusted him with so much and saying it would be wicked a wicked thing and a sin against God for him to go in the bed with Potiphar's wife because that would have been committing adultery 
one day Potiphar's wife caught Joseph by the cloak and again uh, made sexual advances. Joseph fled, leaving his cloak in her hand. So she was yelling rape. Potiphar's wife, you know what? I wish if Potiphar's wife was in the 21st century, she would have been putting that on Facebook and everything. This man done raped me. This man done raped me. You know what? Joseph did not do any wrong. I don't know why Potiphar put him in prison, but we're going to go there right now. It said, uh, and in anger, she falsely accused Joseph of attempted rape and Potiphar put him in prison. We, You know what? If that was the case, that if it was, it could have been any one of them other male servants that he was over. Okay. In jail, Joseph was again blessed by God. Joseph interpreted the dreams of two of the following prisoners. Both interpretations proved to be true, and one of the men were was later released from jail and restored his position as the king's cupbearer but the cupbearer forgot about joseph isn't that something when they said when you get when you get when you get up there on top remember me he said he told the cupbearer he told he told him, he said you're gonna remember me right he said yeah i'm gonna remember you and you get back you so happy you you doing what you're supposed to do and then then he failed to speak to pharaoh about it two years later the king himself had some troubling dreams, and the cupbearer remembered Joseph's gifts of interpretation. The king summons Joseph and relate his dream. Based on Sparrow's dreams, Joseph predicted seven years of bountiful harvest, followed by seven years of severe famine in Egypt, and advised the king to begin storing grain in preparation in the coming black for his wisdom joseph was made a ruler in egypt second only to the king so he was second in command to pharaoh joseph was in charge of storing up food during the year of plenty and selling it to the egyptians and foreigners during the year of famine during these years plenty joseph Plenty Joseph had two sons named Manasseh and Ephraim. Now we know that Manasseh and Ephraim later on they are registering for war in Numbers chapter 1. And they've been used many times through, um, throughout the Old Testament. When the famine struck, even Cana was affected. Joseph, Jacob sent ten of his sons, ten of because remember he had eleven, and then Joseph got, they said to Jacob, Joseph got killed. But he had another son called, he had another son uh, called Benjamin. Um, they went to go buy grain. He kept Benjamin, his younger son, and the only other son of Rachel behind. While in Egypt, the men met their long lost brother whom they did not recognize. Joseph, however, did recognize his brothers. He tested them by accusing them of being spies. He conf he confined them for three days, uh, then released all but one, sending with them grain for the household and requiring them to come back with the youngest brother. Still unaware of Joseph's identity, his brothers were afflicted with guilt for having been, uh, having sold their brother years before. Joseph overheard their discussion and turned aside to weep. He, he returned Simeon and sent the other ones on their way, secretly returning their uh, their money to their grain sacks. Now, because Joseph was trying to, uh, 
But he wasn't buying forgiveness. He was giving forgiveness of what they did to him because he had one where there was 11 stars in the moon and they all surrounded him. And then there was, uh, there was a dream that Joseph had about the hay and, he, and his stalk stood up and the other 11, all, all the other 11 of them, I think it was 11 or 12 of them bowed. The stalk of hay bowed while the other stalk was up. So, <clears throat> yeah. When the brothers later realized the money had been returned, they feared even more. Once home, they took, they told Jacob all that had transpired. Jacob mourned again the loss of Joseph and then, and the added loss of Simeon. He refused to send Benjamin. Because that's who he wanted. Despite Reuben's promise that if he did not return with Benjamin, Jacob could kill Reuben's two sons. Okay. The famine became so severe that Jacob acquired acquires uh, uh, Judah persuaded Jacob to send Benjamin with him giving him his own life as, as a pledge. Jacob agreed, sending also choice choice fruits and double the money of the grain. When Joseph saw the men, he instructed his servants to slaughter an animal and prepare them meal for the brothers to dine with him. You know, this this remind me of what I just read this sentence. It remind me what it says in Psalm. He prepares the table in the presence of my enemies. But Joseph was already they didn't recognize Joseph anyway. Cause he was like the, these brothers was like, Wow, why did they do this? And they lined him up according to their birth. And afraid at the invitation of Joseph's house, the brothers made apologies to Joseph Stewart for the money. And he said, oh, that's all right. That has been replaced the first time. Joseph Stewart reassured them and brought Simeon out. When Joseph returned, the brothers bowed to him, fulfilling his earlier prophecy, prophetic dream. He asked them about his family's warfare and again went, this time removing himself to this chamber. He went to his bedroom or to a, or to a room. When the men sat down to meet at a separate table, Joseph, they were amazed to be arranged by birth order. Benjamin was given five times the portion the other's brothers returned. So they're looking at Benjamin because this is the baby because he's the 12th one. And he said, why he get it? Why he get five times more than we do? We get this little bit of stuff, you know? He, because he's showing favor and, and he's showing them he's showing them that's all right I'm going to make sure y'all y'all do what I'm going to make sure because Joseph knew what was going on before sending them back to their father Joseph again tested his brothers by returning their money to, to his grain sacks and placing his silver cup in Benjamin's sack he let the brothers start on their journey and then sent his steward after them to to find anger and threaten to kill Benjamin because they finally they were searching the sacks and they found that silver cup in it and then he was like man I can't believe you do this I can't believe the, you know what happened that wasn't in there that wasn't in there so back in Joseph's presence Judah plead for Benjamin's life, saying that if Benjamin would to die, so would Jacob. Judah told of Jacob's grief over the loss of Joseph and his belief that he could not uh, bear to lose Joseph's brother. Judah also spoke of his pledge to Jacob and offered his life to, for Benjamin. Upon seeing the proof of his brothers, change of heart, Joseph sent all his servants away 
and wept openly and loudly enough to be heard by Pharaoh's household. He then revealed himself to his brothers. See, that's something that all that time they didn't recognize him, but now they reckon he said it. Joseph immediately reassured them, telling them not to be angry with themselves for that what they done to him, saying God had sent him to Egypt in order to preserve him. Jo Joseph reassured his forgiveness years later after the death of his father, saying that although his brothers in intended to kill him, God intended, intended it for good. J Joseph sent his brothers back to Jacob to reveal to retrieve the remains of his household to come in the land of Goshen. Because Goshen wasn't, when, when they went to that family, Goshen wasn't experiencing that. Where they could be near to Joseph and he could provide for them. <clears throat> Jacob did live in Egypt with all his family. Jacob gave the greater blessing to his youngest two sons, and that was Joseph and Benjamin, later in the history of Israel, Ephraim and Manasseh. But Joseph had two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh. The tribe of Joseph were also often considered two distinct tribes. Jo jo Jacob's descendants lived in Egypt for 400 years until the time of Moses. When Moses fled the Hebrews out of Egypt, he took the remains of Joseph with him, as Joseph had requested, and asking that he be buried in Canaan. Jo Joseph showed great faith that God uh, would bring his people back to the promised land. There are There is much to learn from Joseph's story. As parents, we have warnings concerning jo Jacob's favoritism and the effects that could have in, on the other children as seen in Joseph's youthful pride and his brother's envy, his brother's envy and hatred. We have a good example on how to handle sexual temptation, run, and we have a clear picture of God's faithfulness. There may be dis many distressing circumstances we find ourselves in, and some of them may um, even be unjust as uh, they were in those in Joseph's life. However, as we learn from the account of Joseph's life, by remaining faithful and accepting that God ultimately in charge, we can be confident that God will reward our faithfulness in the fullness of time. Who would blame Joseph if he had turned his brothers away in, in their need? Yet Joseph showed the the mercy and God desired that we exercise mercy above all sacrifices. Joseph's story also presents amazing insight on into God's sovereign works to overcome evil and bring about his plan. After all his ordeals, Joseph was able to see God's hand at work. Later, Joseph again reassured his brothers, offering forgiveness man's wicked most wicked intentions can be can never thaw the perfect plan of God if you want the Lord as your personal Savior I want you to pray this prayer in really the meaning say dear Lord Jesus I come to you as a sinner I ask you to wash and cover my sins in the blood of Jesus I believe that Jesus died buried, rose, sat at the right hand of the Father, and coming back for me again. I confess the Lord Jesus as Savior. And I opened up the door and let Jesus in. 
and I confess that I am saved. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Teach me to read the Bible. Send me to a good church. And fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. That's it, my friend. Rejoice. Welcome to the family of God. Your name is written in the land's book of life and erase all the quarters of hell. Get your Bible, start reading the book of Psalms of Proverbs. Proverbs will teach you how to live. And Psalms will teach you how to praise, worship, and pray. Thank you for watching the Eagles Healing Hope broadcast. We pray that you have been blessed and encouraged. If you have any prayer requests and praise reports, you can email us at healingwings, ministry at gmail.com. Inbox us on Facebook at Eagles Healing Hope broadcast or Healing Wings at the National Ministry pages. You can sow your seed by cash up at Blondie Badger, and that's spelled B-L-O-N-D-I-E-B-A-D-G-E-R. Or you can mail a check or money order to make a payable to Healing Wings International Ministry. Inbox us on Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast or Healing Wings International Ministry pages to get the address to mail your C or you can email us at healingwingsintlministry at gmail.com. Your offers will go to further the kingdom of God. This was brought to you by the Partner Square Warriors and Supporters of Healing Wings International Ministry. Keep hope alive. And remember, there is hope. Be blessed.